Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 1 and play of Stardew 2067 on Ultra Violence. This is map 4, Velvet Blood Mission. Alright, map 4. This one has quite a rough start, so... There are two pain elementals that I want to kill as soon as possible. Thankfully there's a plasma here, but only 40 cells, so we're gonna spend 20 cells on this pain elemental. Or 19. And the remaining cells on that one, and then we're just gonna run. Go over here. Don't grab the armor bonuses, it's gonna reveal all the chain bonus here and a lot more nastiness. We're just gonna get out, grab some more cells, and we're gonna use the cells to kill all the revenants. And there's a reason why I got Berserk early on. Ah, it's so I can uh, punch out Yankees and not waste any cells. And of course, also punch out the Hell Knights. This map has a bit of a uh, ammo scarcity. So I'm gonna rely on the Berserk quite a bit. Although this is a bit scary. Ah, uh, this is too scary. Okay, we're good. Did lose quite some health. I think I'll just grab this health over here. And I'll punch out the remaining revenants. Play some punch out with these nerds. Alright. Now, next step is to grab you son of a bitch. I saw that. Next up is to grab all the armor that's gonna reveal the chain gunners and more enemies. I'm just gonna quickly go over here to kill the revenant. Press the switch. Deal with the chain gunners and I need to get out of here. Just like this. Alright, we're good. That's the hard bit, the beginning. Now to get rid of... Let me see, the Erectron over here. Can chain stun... Or stun him with the chain gun. Hey, what the hell? Why did you... Uh, I'm getting scammed here. Now this map has a bit of an ammo problem. But also, um, health is a bit rare or uncommon, I would say. So, I don't like all those hits. Oh, I'm getting hit way too often. Because I gotta use this medikit. Alright, Revenants, come over here. I'll just blast my you. I think Berserk's a bit too risky. Don't we get too close. Oh, this is fine. Boom. Uh, imp? What do you think you're doing? Okay, uh, let me see. I killed all the revenants then? Yes, I did. Then let's kill the chain gunner. Another one will spawn over there. I got him. And I'll kill one of these revenants if I can with the Weapons, long-ranged weapons. There we go. Then I'm gonna load the other one, and we're just gonna punch him out. And beware of the archer, he's really good at sniping you, he's really annoying. But don't worry, we're gonna kill him very soon. Oh, chain gunner. I need ammo. I need the bullets. Ten bullets should be enough to kill this chain gunner, I hope. Yeah. Alright, more revenants. To punch out revenants, yes, please. Oh, come on, stop doing the pain animation thing. Uh, I guess I'll plasma this chain on them. Okay, slowly clearing up this area. We're not gonna grab the supercharge, it's gonna save us for the final fight. Let's press the switch right up the elevator and of course the arch falls angry at me let's um, explore a bit yeah you know what let's go over here first never mind there's some things you need to do first of all you can press the switch here and then if you use a hidden switch over here it's you cannot see it but it's there you can see it on the other map I think it's like a little cove on the other map but uh, 
It's a very obscure secret. And gives you some armor, uh, I mean health. And it teleports you over here. And guess who's here? It's that pesky archfall has been trying to snipe us this entire time. And now it's time for our revenge. So punch, punch, punch. Bye bye. Get out of my face. And we also get a lot of ammo, so this is really good. And a purple key, which we can use to lower the rocket launcher. Another godsend, of course. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of the chain gunners. I guess I'll grab another minikit. And I want to kill that Arachnatron. Let's see if we can kill him with 36 uh, chain gun ammo. Probably not. No, okay, then we finish him off with plasma. Alright. Um, yeah, we're done, so let's go over here. Here's an interesting fight. These four are trolls. Um, yeah, they get released uh, individually on a timer, so it starts off with this one, then opposite, opposite, opposite. I need to press a switch over here to release the first one, it takes some time. And there's not much cover here, but you can use the uh, switches to reduce the archfall damage by doing this. Okay, next one is over here. And if you're lucky, you can uh, stun them and take reduced damage or minimal damage. But you can also just hide here if needed. But this fight looks scarier than it is. It's not that bad. Especially if you take 20 damage each time. And there's plenty of medikits. Just keep hogging those switches and you should be fine. Also, nice health. And that's a lot of health we can use for later, so that's perfect. This switch lowers the little pillar over there. And it's actually a switch you can step on, and it does something very cool. Which I will show you very soon. Let me just get rid of all the imps. And there's also two spectres down here, I hope. Ah, crap. They bit me. Yeah, I think I'll just grab another medikit just in case. Um, I'm lost. How do I get there again? It's supposed to go. Oh, there we go. It lowered. I didn't know it lowered. Or um, it can be lowered. Okay. Um, Mancubus, I'm gonna rocket you. Three rockets, yes, perfect. Revenant, two shots, yes. These imps, oh come on, I, I really need to stop catching those fireballs. Very sloppy run so far, can I even hit you? Not sure, I don't think so. Yeah, quite sloppy so far, but uh, it's okay. This map is actually pretty easy, except for the beginning and one fight at the end. Or actually two fights at the end. The dreaded pacifist fight, oh yeah. If you've played this map, you know which one I mean. And how annoying that fight is. But I'm gonna I'm gonna blow your minds. I'm gonna show you how I deal with it. Um okay, so what do I do again? This is a very confusing map sometimes. Uh, so I opened... Oh yeah, the little platform here. Yeah, this is really cool, watch this. So you step on it. And these little floaty platforms appear. Look at that. That's some Ribix magic right there. And then there's another weird thing here, like... You need to jump where the strobe lighting is. But there's like a silent teleporter here that flips you. See? 
So when you try to go for the jump for your first time, you suddenly flip around and then you jump off. And it's only a one-time thing, thankfully, but it's still really strange. And remember the first secret that we found? I shot a Mancubus, it's this one. It's nice to uh, deal with him uh, early on. And let me see, here's another pretty interesting area. Um, this is like a little store, you could say. You pay with your health, so you can buy a plasma cell, you can buy some green armor. I think it costs like 40 health. And you can get an early black key, which I will get because, uh, well, it gives you ammo pretty much. So I take 40 damage. Oh, 20. Ooh. I didn't know you could, you could one cycle that damaging floor. That was good timing. Or pure luck, I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm happy. Okay, so we have an early black key, and why do we want the black key? It's because there's a black switch over here, which lowers this elevator, but let's also open up the door real quick. There's a gate that can be opened right over there. And you need to do this fast, you need to press the switch. Jump down, lower the lift, be fast, I'm gonna grab some rockets too, and there you go. And you can also drop down here for 40 extra shells, but I don't need them, I'll grab them later. For now, let's pull out the plasma, and deal with the cacos. ASAP, it's only 5 of them, and you may be thinking, oh no, the imps are coming, but nope, they're not, don't worry about them. Your Rubix uh, gives you some mercy here. Did I kill them all? Uh, I think so. Yeah, this is very un Rubix like. You would think these imps could just get to you, but uh, maybe that was too evil, I don't know. But those imps do apply some pressure. If they could, but now they're just there and don't really do much. So, bit of a waste opportunity, but I think with these little floating platforms. I'm not sure how limited these are, because, well, I don't know, I'm not a mapper, so I'm not sure how this works. But maybe there's, like, a limitation that enemies cannot cross, like, this gap here? I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, Archeras. So, I'm just gonna pre-fire, like, a bunch of rockets. Just like that. That should damage them quite a bit, and then you can just deal with them from outside pretty easily. And here's another very cool puzzle. So what you gotta do is you gotta stop the moving platforms on time. And this pretty much allows you to go to the exit. Because the red floor there has a lot of friction. So you move really slow and there's no way to outrun the crushers. So you need to stop them here so you can uh, Exit. It's really um, creative. Okay. Um, yeah, and now it's time for the dreaded pass fist fight. But first, let's kill all the remaining Hell Knights. And maybe also grab some shells. I have a lot of rockets too, I think I'll use some. I don't really use rockets anymore at this point of the map. Whoa, four rockets survived. Strong Hell Knight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab those shells. Um, the 40 shells that I mentioned before fighting the Kaku Demons and the Imps. So let's go back real quick. Over this. And jump down here. And here you go, 40 shells. To get out, just press the switch again. Oh yeah, now we gotta make sure we get... 100 health. Because guess what? We're gonna do a forced archfall jump. Forced in the sense that you need it for a secret. And that secret is also... A must-have. It's a mega armor. And you need to do an archfall jump for it, which kinda sucks. But it's an easy jump. Okay, so let's 
drop down here. This is the archer we're gonna use for the jump. So all you gotta do is jump over this switch. It's pretty easy, as you can see. Just don't get stepped again, because then you're gonna die. Also, damaging floor can also kill you, so be careful. Oh, crap! Stupid boom. Ah, boom. As much as I love you, I also hate you sometimes. Alright, so um, it's time for the pacifist fights. Let me just quickly heal up. I wanna be 200 200 pretty much, or almost. I took some uh, damaging floor damage there. But that's okay. Let's heal up. There's also like a bunch of stim packs that I didn't grab. Right over here. Oh, screw it, I'll grab both. And now we can grab the supercharge finally. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna quickly explain how the pass fist fight works. So you enter an area where there's three arch files and a pain elemental behind you, and in front of you there's a little hallway that's blocked by uh, four imps and two hell knights. And the idea is that you um, get close to the imps and the hell knights to lure them out one by one, and you just need to let them walk out so you can cross them, and then you can deal with the archers and stuff. But if you fire a shot, you're gonna get zapped to death. So it's a really annoying and tricky and clever fight. But watch this. I found a way to just deal with it so much easier is to pre-fire a rocket before you grab the super shotgun, which will um, remove the walls and reveal all the archers and stuff. But Doom only registers a sound if you pull the trigger. And since the rocket has a delayed attack, like you pull the trigger and then a couple of ticks later, that's when the rocket appears. If you time it well, you still make the sound when this is an enclosed room, and the rocket appears when the room opens up. And enemies don't register that as a sound they can hear. So you can just fire a rocket and deal with the four imps, and then all you gotta do is get past the Hell Knights, and it makes this fight, I would say, 100 times easier, because if I didn't know about this strategy, this fight is probably the hardest fight in the entire map. And it's, eh, give or take, 15 minutes into the map, so it, it's pretty bad. And it's really nerve-wracking. But, check this out. There you go. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's actually really bad. <laughs> You're not supposed to wake up the Archer. Crap. Oh, okay. Okay. I... I'm still good, but... That arch was not supposed to wake up. I got a bit too close to him. I hope I can still get past the uh, enemies there. Ah, screw it. Let me fire just a shot. Plasma through them. YOLO. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I gotta say that was more exciting for the video, that's for sure. And then you just deal with the arch was like this. But normally, if you pull it off and you don't wake up the arch fall prematurely, you, uh, this fight becomes so much easier, but uh, I made it a bit more exciting. All on purpose, of course. Kinda took some damage there. I have not much armor left, which I kinda needed for the final fight. Yeah, I'm just gonna sp spoil the beans here, but uh, spill the beans. But the final fight um, contains two custom enemies. If you remember the Afrit from Scythe 2, like the floating fiery baron, he uh, comes back in this wad, except he's purple. And his attack pretty much insta-kills you. He fires like, I don't know, five Revenant missiles and like a billion Mancubus fireballs. If you eat all of them at once, there's no way you're gonna survive that. There's just zero possibility. Even if you have 200 armor, 200 health, one blast insta kills you. And Rubix thought it was a good idea to put two of them in front of you in a very, very cramped room. And it's a really, really scary fight. You kinda need to be lucky 
uh, the way the enemy AI pathing works. But I found a somewhat reliable method to deal with them. I hope it works out. Because in practice runs, stuff always works out and then you start recording and then everything goes to hell. So I'm not sure if there's a hell knight down there. I know there's one in front of me there, but is there one like... Nope, he's still there. I don't want to risk jumping down and getting melee to death, so... Yeah, see, there he is. But yeah, those two efforts at the end... Uh, it's a very, very, very scary fight for the wrong reasons. It's just a bit of an RNG fest, but like I said... You can make it work. I don't like my armor though, that's really low. I also need to do this. I think you need to do... You need to grab this black key for a supercharge at the final fight. I'm not sure how it works, but I grab it anyway, because it has a revenant. But you need to kill for 100% kills. And let me think. We got everything, so time for the final fight. With 30 armor, that's actually really scary. I really shouldn't take any damage. Maybe I should grab a... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna grab a green armor, just in case. I really, really don't want to die. And I think I have enough health to heal up. The damage will take. Okay, so green armor, and then I need two steam packs. There we go. This should um, keep me safe a bit more. It's better than 30 mega armor. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think we're ready. Let's go. Scary fight. I don't like it. I've practiced it for like, like 20 times in a row. I died maybe once. But I can already see myself choking during a real run because at this point nerves are a thing and your skill level is halved pretty much. So let's go. There's a supercharged that spawns when you grab the black key, and also beware that some revenants will spawn behind you. Just plasma them. Just plasma everything. You have enough cells for everything. Oh, I don't like that missile. I don't like that missile. Can okay, you hit the cock demon? Ah, go away. I need to do like a cool epic maneuver. I need to do like this. How do I get rid of you? I don't have space to... Ah, there we go. Alright, here they come. Also, probably the video thumbnail, because I want to show them off in the thumbnail. Because it's clickbaity and it's nice. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly explain what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna use one of the efforts as a meat shoot to halve the, incoming, uh, the amount of incoming projectiles. That's pretty much what I'm gonna try to do. So I'm gonna lower the wall, reveal both of them. I'm gonna sidestep to the left to kind of manipulate their pathing to one side. And then do a sharp strafe to the right to uh, get them like in front of each other. So I get a nice meat shoot. So I hope it works out. If not, I'm gonna die instantly. So let's go. Okay, there we go. We have a meat shoot. Oh, not anymore. Okay, now we do again. Oh, zero damage. Oh, ho, 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 ho. zero damage. Wow. This is a great video. I really like this run. I screwed up the pacifist fight. I aced the efforts. And I'm just in a really good mood. That was really good. Oh, and there's like a bunch of um, armor bonuses and health bonuses you cannot grab. Maybe done on purpose so you can get 69% uh, items. Who knows? I mean, Rubix likes 69 because the part time is 1 minute and 9 seconds. Now, Translate that to seconds, and there you go. Very nice. But yeah, map 4, outside the past this fight, um, without my strats, I would say this is one of the hardest maps so far. It's a really nasty fight, and the efforts at the end can be very unpredictable. It's, it's a true nail-biter. But if you apply my strategies, this map, honestly, it's not that bad. It's not as easy as map 3. Uh, I would say this is the second hardest map so far, but um, it is quite an interesting map. I th it's uh, not my favorite so far, that's uh, for sure, 
But uh, it has its cool aesthetics and has some interesting combat. And of course the music is uh, pretty nice. But other than that, I don't particularly enjoy this one. There's uh, too many gimmicks, I would say. But um, as interesting as they are, they're not always that fun. But um, still, it is a beautiful map. And of course, a lot of thought was put into it. And I appreciate that. But yeah, we're done. That's map 4. Map 5 is next. I've heard some really, really bad things about that one. So um, let's see how that goes. But um, yeah, that's all. Have a nice Friday and see you next time.